Derek, great to see you again. Ever since that fight against Joseph in May, have you always been desperate to, to have that rematch? Oh, sorry. You know, yes, because it was unfair. Um, I gave it to him. I don't know why, but if I'm saying something stupid, let me know. You know everybody's got their own opinion. You know, um, at least the fight's back on now. We, we, we both get paid, which is good. The last two fights you've had, really narrow defeats. Has that made you feel like going into this fight, you want to get it done inside the distance and not have to worry about a judge's scorecard? No, we're not going to try and try and get a knockout or chase it or anything like that because it's a silliness. We're gonna, I'm going to go in there and do what my coach tells me. Can you talk about the changes you've made behind the scenes? You've mentioned the coach bringing Dave Colwell back in. What was the thinking there? Uh, you know, I, I, because I, Buddy McGurk lives in America and I, I hate traveling to America and then I didn't want him to come down here for 10 weeks and he'll be missing his family and then plus he's got other fighters as well. That won't be fair, you know. So I just, and you know, Dave, me and Dave spoke and we spoke a little bit uh, and then I went, came down, trained with him and then he said, okay, I'll come and join with you, you know. But, you know, the love me and Buddy is still there, man. Me and Buddy talk, we, you know, we, 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 we chat and we're still friends. What have you been working on with Dave? You've built up so much experience in the sport and there's not much more you can, you can learn, surely. But, but what have the pair of you been, been working on in particular? Um, boxing stuff. That's it. Any more insight you can give us on that? Nah, boxing stuff. You know KD? Yep. <laughs> does KD does any interviews? Well, we can get him to do an interview after this. No, no KD can come sit down and do an interview. <laughs> well, on that note, talk us through coming together with 258 Management. Because uh, you worked really well with David for those last couple of years. Yes. Um, you know, I grew up I grew up knowing KD since he was a young pup. A young pup. And then, uh, <laughs> and, I, and, I, and then, you know, watching AJ. Grew up with AJ's sister as well. And then uh, one day, when, when KD had that, me and, me and David don't work together, he contacted me. He goes, oh, I want to come and talk to you with Freddie and they came came to my came to my uh, gym in Hampstead mm -hmm. we sat down they said say good stuff you know and I was like you know what my brothers my neighbourhood let's see let's see what happens and so far they've done everything well and what do you think David can what do you think Derek can still achieve his career now oh, I think um, with the revival of the scene it's all for him he's the experienced guy in the, in the game he he, he's seen it all, he's been there already, so it's all, it's all there for the taking right now. And on AJ, Derek, I wanted to ask you about AJ being out in America. What have you made of his decision to, to look at working with, with different trainers? Oh, good. Listen, I keep telling everybody, man, the lifespan in boxing is short, and you have to do what makes you happy. And when you speak to AJ, ask him, are you happy going to America? He'll be like, yes. It's a new chapter for him, new adventure for him, and new places. So it's going to be exciting. Do you understand? So I'm happy for him. He went to America, and I wish him all the best. And I think it's going to give him the benefit. It's going to give him so much more ability that he's gone to America and he will train here and come back to London fight. It's going to be amazing. Lennox Lewis did it. Tyson Fury did it. Um, I think most fighters in the United Kingdom left the United Kingdom, went to America to find out more experienced coaches and stuff like that and they became better fighters the only fighter who didn't do it was actually Ricky Hatton did it didn't he? Did he? Did Ricky Hatton do it? Um, he, did, he do it? did he get up and go to America? He came with me with his dad to the hotel yeah. 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 See that? Everybody does it so mm. it's, a good, it's a good thing apart from me I ain't going to America I don't, I don't have a visa <laughs> We'll sort that out <laughs> What can you tell us about AJ's training situation? Uh, what do you think he, he will look to do now as he, as he prepares for the rematch? Um, nothing set in stone. No f hard decisions have been made on what he's going to do, but he definitely wants a new change of scenery. So we've been out to America. We're going to scope a few other places, but I think it's time for him to branch out and have a new environment to train in.
So do you feel like he, Sheffield wants to move on from, from that setting? It's not closing the door on Sheffield because that's, that's kind of one of the places that birthed his career. But I feel like where we are now, we're peeling off a few layers and jumping into a different scene. Um, just a new environment is going to probably help change the mindset and shake things up a little bit more. I think um, Derek was saying earlier that all this shiny shit in the gym, it's not for him. Sometimes he, li he likes the grit. He doesn't like these shiny gyms. So we're, we're testing stuff out at the moment. Well, I appreciate the honesty there. I've got two more questions for you, Derek, while you're down in what I'm not sure what that looks like. A bit of murky pint. Uh, <laughs> the f first question is, in terms of AJ, what changes would you like to see him make in the ring for this rematch? Um, I don't know. I can't answer that. You've beaten, you know, you've t taken on Usyk. You know what it takes to beat him. I can't answer that. It's difficult for me to answer that because I... I I can't answer that because it's just a way of like, by me saying you need to change this and this, that's not my, that's not my job. You know, I can only support him in every decision he makes. Would you want that fight? Do you, do you think that's realistic? Yeah, Coogan is very upset because you're taking all the good questions. <laughs> Listen, what? <laughs> I was upset. <laughs> you're doing a great job, man. Your, your your questions are unbelievable, amazing questions. Well, I want the I want the answer though. Fury against Chisora. Is it going to happen? Fury's final fight. I think Fury needs to fight a Dylan White first, you know, and then after that he fights the winner of Yusuk and AJ. And then after that. Fights me, yeah, good, yeah. Well, that's that's how I plan it out.